So, when do two bricks become one brick? When they try to fill the same data point. In other words, when they both want more than 50% of their data in one pixel. The data for each is incomplete. It is missing. And so, as a function of optics, portions of the data from each brick is processed at one merging point. This is called the diffraction limit. Two lights become one light, two bricks become one brick, and at a bigger and bigger distance, two trees become one tree, and so forth. So let's listen to Conspiracy Cats to make sure that he understands this concept. Essentially, diffraction limit, um... When, when, when light passes through an aperture, we get a diffraction pattern. You know, the central disk of that we're going to call the Aries disk. And we have these, these areas of uh, constructive and destructive interference around it. We get these. Uh, and, and, and light coming from any part of an object, any part of an object, not just the bottom, not just the top, but literally every single part of an object as it passes through the aperture is going to, is going to create one of those diffraction patterns. Now, if the diffraction patterns get so close that the first minima of one uh, lies underneath the <coughs> first minimum, uh, underneath the maximum of the, the, the next one, then you can't resolve them. You can't tell them apart. You can't tell that those two objects are two objects anymore. They will appear as one object. So it appears that he does indeed understand that two objects will appear as one object when the diffraction limit is reached and breached. So my question is a simple one, really, to you conspiracy cats. Where in your sphere mathematics is this accounted for? Oh!